I think it's very important that clinicians are aware of the, the advantages of the different long-acting formulations. And I think there are many clinicians in other areas of medicine that wish they had the ability to give their, their medicine by injection, you know, once a month or every two months or every three months, that they would be excited about that. So I think it's unfortunate that we don't all share the same excitement, that we're fortunate to have these, these opportunities because it makes it so much easier for a patient to get an injection periodically rather than to take pills every day, even in terms of potential embarrassment. I mean, I'm, I'm in college and I have a roommate and I'm taking pills every day and my roommate says, John, what, you know, what's wrong? Maybe I don't want to tell him that I, that I have schizophrenia or whatever it is. I mean, I hope someday there'll be no stigma associated with mental illness, but right now there, there might be. So perhaps I'd be more comfortable just going to a clinic periodically or to my doctor's office and, and getting an injection and nobody has to know about that. Or I, if I go on vacation, I don't have to worry about going to a pharmacy in, in, in another city, but I just, I just know I've, I've I got my injection, I don't have to worry. I, I think it's extremely important for us to recognize how critical it is to prevent relapse and rehospitalization with all of the consequences that those events can have on the patient's life, the family's life, their social and vocational adjustment on, on society, on cost of care, all of those things. We know that these medications can be highly efficacious in preventing relapse. But we also know that many people have trouble taking medication on a regular basis over the long term, whether it's a medical illness or a psychiatric illness. So we need to take that in, into consideration and recognize that that's human nature. We need to help the patient get the benefit of the medication that we know can be helpful. And we're fortunate in that we have an array of options. We have a number of, of long-acting injectable formulations, different medicines, different injection intervals that we can offer to patients. But I think it has to be done in the right way. We have to destigmatize non-adherence. We have to normalize non-adherence, explain that it's human nature, that it doesn't mean you're a bad patient or a bad person, but we just want to help you get the benefit of the medication. It's not a punishment. It's really a way to help you get the benefit of the medicine. We want to work with you to achieve that. I think we need to help educate the patients, the families, the clinical team, everybody, as to what the potential advantages are of this approach and then take advantage of that opportunity uh, and, and set it up much more as an expectation rather than as the exception. So rather than ask, you know, why should we put this patient on a long-acting injectable formulation, I would rather ask, why shouldn't we? What, what's the reason not to? If we see these advantages, then why, why wouldn't we encourage this routinely. And I think that's the, to me, that's the opportunity that we have.